In this video, we are going to talk about the 10 upcoming missions of ISRO. Aditya L1 Aditya L1 is a choreographic spacecraft to study solar atmosphere and various other features of Sun. The spacecraft will be launched on board a PSLV XL rocket in the third quarter of 2023. This spacecraft will be inserted into a halo orbit around the L1 point between Sun and Earth where it will study solar atmosphere, solar magnetic storms and its impact on environment on Earth. Aditya L1 will be first Indian mission dedicated to observe the Sun and also first Indian satellite to reach L1 point. So what is L1 point? L1 point or Lagrange point 1 is a point in space between Earth and Sun where the gravity of both celestial bodies combine to produce an equilibrium point. This point is located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, far beyond the Earth-Moon system. Coming back to Aditya L1, the key scientific objectives of the mission are coronal heating, solar wind acceleration and coronal magnetometry. The spacecraft will also try to solve a very interesting mystery in solar physics that is, the upper atmosphere of Sun is hotter than the lower atmosphere and the surface of Sun. The temperatures of upper atmosphere is about 1 million degrees Celsius and lower atmosphere or its surface temperature is about 10,000 degrees Celsius. Aditya L1 will also provide continuous observations of photosphere, chromosphere and corona. This will help scientists predict the solar storms. If you don't know solar storms, they are very dangerous natural phenomena. A powerful coronal mass ejection can disrupt the power grid of the entire planet. These disastrous events can send humans back to the stone age. Fortunately, the whole scientific community is working in this field of solar physics and Aditya Elvin will contribute significantly. Next ISRO mission on our list is X-ray polarimetry satellite or EXPOSAT. EXPOSAT is a planned space telescope to study the polarization of cosmic X-rays. It will be India's first dedicated polarimetry mission to study various dynamics of bright astronomical X-ray sources in extreme conditions. EXPOSAT is a small satellite and has a weight of about 480 kilograms. It will be launched on board a small satellite launch vehicle or SSLV, which is the smallest operational orbital launch vehicle of ISRO. It will be launched by the fourth quarter of 2023 or the first quarter of 2024. But you know, ISRO is not quite punctual for launch dates. EXPOSAT will carry two scientific payloads to low Earth orbit. Its primary scientific payload, POLYX, will observe about 40 bright astronomical sources including black holes, neutron stars, active galactic nuclei, pulsar wind nebulae, etc. The spacecraft will also be equipped with X-ray spectrometry and timing instrument. The polarimetric measurements will add more dimensions into the understanding of mysterious celestial objects of our universe. Next mission on our list is NISAR. After seeing ISRO's low-cost and super successful missions to Moon and Mars, many space agencies wanted to collaborate with ISRO. NASA did this collaboration by starting a joint mission between ISRO and NASA called NASA-ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar on NISAR. NISAR is a dual-frequency synthetic aperture radar on an Earth observation satellite. This satellite will be the first, first radar imaging satellite to use dual frequencies. It will be used for remote sensing to observe and understand natural processes on Earth like Antarctic ice. With a total cost of about 1.3 billion US dollars, NISAR is the world's most expensive satellite. If you don't understand how expensive it is, don't forget that ISRO's whole year budget is about 1.4 billion US dollars. However, ISRO's share of the project is about 100 million US dollars and NASA's share is about 900 million. After seeing this, you might think that NASA is spending more on this mission as they must be providing almost all different components of this mission. But in fact, the share of mission components is almost equal. NASA will be providing its L-band synthetic aperture radar, telecommunication system for scientific data and GPS receivers and a solid state recorder. And ISRO will be providing S-band synthetic aperture radar, launch vehicle which is the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark II GSLV Mark II rocket and its associate launch services. The satellite will be launched on board GSLV Mark II rocket in the first quarter of 2024 and will be placed in a sun-synchronous orbit. The planned life of the mission is about 3 years and the project has passed the first stage of design validation and has been received and approved by NASA.
Every Indian had tears in their eyes when Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-2 crash landed on the lunar south pole due to a last minute software glitch during soft landing. But ISRO will again attempt to land on the surface of moon with its Chandrayaan-3 lander and rover mission. Unlike Chandrayaan-2 which comprised of a lander, rover and an orbiter, Chandrayaan-3 will only have a lander, rover and a propulsion module. This propulsion module will carry the lander and rover configuration till 100 km lunar orbit. This propulsion module will behave like a communications relay satellite for lander and rover. It will also have one scientific payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from lunar orbit. The lander will provide data and perform scientific experiments on lunar surface and the rover will be encapsulated inside the lander just like Chandrayaan-2. The main scientific objective of Chandrayaan-3 lander and rover are to study lunar surface composition in South Pole region. It will also study lunar topology, mineralogy, element abundance, the lunar exosphere and most importantly, the study of lunar ice on lunar surface. Water is a very essential resource on moon as it can be used by future astronauts to grow crops on moon and also as a rocket fuel. The rover of Chandrayaan-3 is very small. It weighs only 27 kgs whereas the lander's mass is about 1400 kg. The rover will move on six wheels and is planned to travel 500 meters on lunar surface. Moreover, it will move very slowly on moon's surface. Its speed will only be about 1 cm per second or 36 meters per hour. The rover will perform on-site analysis, send data to lander which will relay it to propulsion module or Chandrayaan-2 orbiter or directly to mission control on Earth. The expected operation time of rover and lander is about one lunar day or 14 Earth days as electronics were not designed to endure the frigid lunar night. But it may survive the 14 day long lunar light because its solar panels had sleep wakes up cycle which can restart when sunlight again falls on them. The next mission on our list is Lunar Polar Exploration Mission LUPEX or Chandrayaan-4. This is a robotic lunar mission concept by ISRO and Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA. Under this mission, both countries will collaborate and send a lunar rover and lander to explore the southern polar region of Moon. This mission is expected to launch no earlier than 2025. Japanese Space Agency will provide its underdevelopment H3 launch vehicle and the rover, while ISRO will be responsible for the lander. If Chandrayaan-3 is successful, Chandrayaan-4 will come under the Phase 3 of lunar exploration, which is the on-site sampling of lunar surface. The rover will contain a drill to collect subsurface samples from a depth of about 1.5 meters. Next mission on our list is the Gaganyaan. Gaganyaan will be India's first crewed orbital spacecraft. Under this mission, ISRO will send its first man to space from Indian soil. The spacecraft is designed to carry three people and a planned version will also contain a docking port. The first crewed mission will orbit Earth at around 400 km altitude for up to 7 days. But before a crewed mission, there will be several uncrewed experimental flights to check the reliability of the spacecraft. These tests include re-entry test, pad abort test and a high altitude abort test. Gaganyaan-1 will be the first uncrewed test flight of the Gaganyaan program and will be launched in 2023. The Gaganyaan spacecraft will be launched by a human-rated LVM-3 rocket from Satish Dhawan Space Center and will be inserted into a 170 by 480 km orbit. After launching Gaganyaan-1 mission, ISRO will perform four abort tests before launching Gaganyaan-2. Gaganyaan-2 will carry the humanoid robot Vyam Mitra to low Earth orbit. Vyam Mitra is a female-looking robot and is designed to accompany astronauts in space missions and uncrewed space missions. ISRO aims not to send animals on board experimental missions unlike other nations. This robot will perform microgravity experiments and monitor module parameters. Gaganyaan-2 is planned to launch in 2024. After successfully testing of all these missions, ISRO will launch the first crewed flight of Gaganyaan, carrying one to three Indian astronauts which will be trained in Russia on a short orbital test flight. Gaganyaan's first crewed flight is not expected to happen before 2025. If this mission is successful, India will become the fourth country to have human space launch capabilities after USA, China and Russia. The next ISRO mission on our list is Mars Orbiter Mission 2 or Mangalyaan 2. ISRO shocked the whole world with its successful Mangalyaan 1 orbit. Mangalyaan 2 will be India's second mission to planet Mars and will only consist of an orbiter. This is because Mangalyaan 1 was only a technology demonstration satellite. 
it didn't contain heavy science experiments. The proposed launch vehicle for this mission is LVM-3, which flew for the first time in 2017, which is powerful enough to place MOM on a direct-to-mass trajectory alongside carrying much more heavier scientific equipment, unlike MOM-1 which used a less powerful PSLV XL rocket. The orbiter will use aerobraking to lower its initial apoapsis and enter into an orbit more suitable for observations. Aerobraking is a spacecraft maneuver that reduces the high point of an orbit by flying the spacecraft through the upper atmosphere of a planet at the low point of the orbit. Previously, this method has been used by several Mars orbiters like MRO and Mars Express. The mission will include a hyperspectral camera, a high-resolution panchromatic camera, and a radar to understand early Martian crust, recent basalts, and boulder falls. ISRO plans to launch this spacecraft during 2024 to 2025 Mars launch window. If ISRO misses this launch window, they'll have to wait for 26 months for next window. Every spacecraft going to Mars is launched in this transfer window to save fuel. MOM-2 have been proposed to be followed by MOM-3, which would include a soft landing of a rover possibly at Iridian Basin. The next mission in our list is Shukrayaan-1. Shukrayaan-1 is a planned Venus orbiter to study the surface and atmosphere of planet Venus. The main science objectives of this mission are to study the atmospheric chemistry, to understand the geology of surface and subsurface of planet Venus, and to study the interactions of solar wind with Venus ionosphere. The unique thing about this mission is that ISRO is also expected to use inflated balloons to help study Venusian atmosphere. These balloons can be deployed from an orbiter and take observations while floating in planet's upper atmosphere. Balloon probe will carry 10 kg of payloads to study Venusian atmosphere at 55 km altitude. A similar thing was done by Vega missions in 1980s. The expected launch date of the mission is in December 2024, but it may be shifted to an alternate launch window in 2031. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.